About the tropics, we have PTC6 potential tropical cyclone. What is that? Well, it just simply means that this thing is still not technically a depression. It's not a tropical storm, and that's because the winds have not completely closed off around the circulation. There's still an open circulation down here. The hurricane hunters just now taking off out of Biloxi uh, Keesler this morning as of about 430 or so heading down there. They'll get down there in the next a couple of hours. Check it out and see has that circulation closed off, and if it has, we will have tropical storm Alex. The reason for that, the system is producing tropical storm force winds. The winds are currently sustained at 40 miles an hour, but as you can see here, the center of press, low pressure is right in here. Look where all the storms are on the eastern and southeastern side. That's because it's still fighting wind shear and dry air, and this is probably how it's going to look the entire lifetime of it. So this will likely at some point, if it can close off that circulation, it will become Alex, and you can see heading towards South Florida as we go into, yes, getting rain today, but landfall would be later tonight into uh, Saturday more than likely, and then by Saturday night, it's moving off into the Atlantic. So today and tomorrow, we're going to be the biggest heavy rain impacts to South Florida. You can see there that lopsided system. There's a center of load. There's all the rain heading up through Florida. Florida today, the heaviest of it potentially tonight and into Saturday morning, and then hopefully things start to improve by Saturday afternoon as the system moves off the east coast of Florida. Rainfall total still looks like five to eight inches is a good bet south of Orlando towards Fort Myers, the Keys and Miami, West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale. Those will be the rainiest locations today and going into tomorrow. So it's just a reminder, you don't got to have a strong storm to get big impacts. And in this case, it will be flooding with maybe some wind gusts to 40 to 50 miles an hour. Uh, as what is expected to be Alex. We will see, uh, but right now it does have tropical storm force winds. We're just waiting for that low to close off, and then once it does, it will be Alex. There's your seven-day forecast. Our forecast, we love that in hurricane season. Yeah, a few storms today, but after today, a hot and mostly dry weekend, and then next week, dry and getting even hotter.